Oppenheimer earned almost a billion dollars at the global box office and swept away the Oscars in their favor. Now, even though the actors performed flawlessly, it was Nolan's vision that made Oppenheimer such a grand cinematic spectacle. But is he the undisputed goat of Hollywood? Well, a legendary director like Denis Villeneuve might disagree. In today's video, we'll analyze the journey of two of Hollywood's greatest directors, Christopher Nolan and Denis Villeneuve. So, without further ado, let's begin. For his first ever feature film, Following, Christopher Nolan made a significant impact. While the movie didn't do well at the box office, his craft was praised by many critics globally. Then, in 2000, Nolan dropped the mind-bending memento on our heads. Do you remember that flick? It told the whole story backwards, which was bonkers at the time. Scene by scene, it just screwed with your brain in the best possible way. We're talking a full-on masterclass in messing with linear storylines and our perception of reality as viewers. The movie blew critics' minds so hard that Nolan scored his first ever Oscar nod for that brilliant original screenplay. He announced himself as this bold new voice, unafraid to demolish conventions. Meanwhile, up in Canada, another young genius filmmaker was making his mark in his unorthodox way. Denis Villeneuve spent his early days mastering emotional storytelling through these super-gripping, acclaimed French flicks like Maelstrom and Polytechnique. Low-key movies, but they packed one hell of an emotional punch. Then in 2010, Villeneuve's Incendies completely shook us. This haunting drama dug deep into the traumatic aftermath of a brutal civil war through one family's unbelievably heavy journey. With its visceral looks at human suffering and survival, plus Villeneuve's masterclass in tension building, the film left audiences wrecked. As Nolan and Villeneuve's career started taking off, they each cemented their legendary director status by dropping some truly iconic, jaw-dropping flicks that were critical and box office smashes. For Nolan, his turning point was his groundbreaking Dark Knight trilogy from 2005 to 2012. Those Batman movies completely flipped the script on what a superhero flick could be. Gone were the campy vibes. Nolan's take was gritty, grounded, and felt almost apocalyptic at times. He blended those complex, morally ambiguous narratives with phenomenal performances from his cast and visual effects that still hold up over a decade later. 2008's The Dark Knight was a straight-up cultural phenomenon. We're talking $1 billion at the global box office, with an IMDb rating of 9.0 and the third highest rated on the platform to this date. People were shaken by how Nolan could take a comic book premise and use it to explore real-world themes like violence, vengeance, and what lines will cross to feel safe. That trilogy proved superhero epics could truly be high art. Then Nolan went full blockbuster visionary with mind pretzels like Inception in 2010 and Interstellar in 2014. With the former, he challenged us to engage with this incredibly intricate premise of a dream within a dream within a dream. The visuals and emotional core anchored the high concept madness. Interstellar took us on a cosmic voyage exploring humanity's place in the universe through stunning exploratory space travel. Nolan blends those cerebral premises with pure spectacle unlike anyone else. He's mastered toying with our perception of reality through innovative effects and non-linear storytelling. Meanwhile, Villeneuve was blazing his trail to global fame and acclaimed through a series of films that just absolutely gutted you with their rawness and authenticity. His mainstream breakout was 2013's Prisoners, a crime thriller souped up on dread and moral complexity that showcased Villeneuve's gift for extracting haunting performances from his actors. Then with flicks like Sicario, Arrival, and his sci-fi epic Blade Runner 2049, Villeneuve staked his claim as this generation's master of brooding atmosphere and intimate character arcs, probing the human condition. With Blade Runner 2049 especially, he reinvigorated a beloved franchise by innovating its futuristic world building while still capturing the existential essence of what made the original so revered. Blending that grand visual scope with resonant philosophical themes is Villeneuve's superpower. So in their unique ways, both directors rocked Hollywood to its core. Nolan deconstructing our minds and redefining blockbusters, Villeneuve shattering our hearts and making us question our very nature through his hyper-real character studies. Nolan is all about those intricate, mind-bending narratives that challenge you to engage on a whole other level. Think the backward storyline of Memento or the dream-within-a-dream craziness of Inception. Dude gets off on playing with your perception of reality and linear time. His flicks frequently explore deep existential themes about identity, 
memory, and the human psyche. Nolan wants you to question your assumptions and grapple with the big questions about consciousness and what makes us who we are. Conversely, Villeneuve is the master of deliberate pacing and rich atmospheric visuals that just transport you. His forte is capturing the nuanced emotions and unspoken behavior of his characters with gravitas. The guy loves delving into moral ambiguity, the consequences of violence, and how complicated human relationships can be. With films like Prisoners and Arrival, Villeneuve compels you to confront harsh truths about the uglier sides of our nature as people. Take his Dune series for an example. Despite his raging desire for revenge, the protagonist is also aware of the consequences his actions can bring about. He has to choose between the fate of the universe and the love of his life to prevent the horrible set of future events he can foresee. When it comes to raking in awards and setting box offices on fire, Nolan and Villeneuve have emerged as two of the biggest forces in modern filmmaking. Nolan is an absolute awards juggernaut. The man has racked up 18 Oscars through his movie's critical acclaim over the years. However, Oppenheimer was Nolan's first Oscar win for Best Director after being nominated once before for Dunkirk at the 90th Academy Awards in 2018. But Nolan doesn't just play for the critics. He's a straight-up box office titan, too. His flicks have grossed over $4.7 billion worldwide to date. The Dark Knight Rises alone made over a billion dollars. His recent movie, Oppenheimer, not only swept away most awards at the Academy Awards 2024, but also made an impressive $952 million. On the other hand, Villeneuve's filmography is not so far behind. He has earned numerous accolades, including an Academy Award nomination for Best Director for Arrival and a slew of nominations from prestigious organizations like the BAFTAs, Golden Globes, and Critics' Choice Awards. While his films like Blade Runner 2049 have had modest box office performances relative to their budgets, they have still performed respectably, with the movie earning over $259 million globally. More importantly, Villeneuve's reputation as a master storyteller and his ability to craft visually stunning, thought-provoking films have solidified his position as one of the most respected directors working today. The way he turned Frank Herbert's novels into the commercially and critically successful Dune series is quite commendable. The Dune series is probably his best work according to viewers. In fact, his recent venture, Dune 2, is not only doing well on the box office but is also being praised by critics globally. With an IMDb rating of 8.9 and a Rotten Tomatoes score of over 93%, this is surely one of Villeneuve's best movies with already making more than $500 million dollars in the box office as of March 2024 and is anticipated to do very well in the upcoming year's awards. So that's it for today. If you ask my final thoughts on this comparison, I will say that in terms of legacy, Christopher Nolan is far ahead. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and press the bell icon.